Good morning, it's early. I'm up to volunteer, just answering a question. How do we come up with the $20,000 pre-production budget number? Well, I asked a friend for a 30,000 foot view budget guesstimate on the feature film. And the number she came up with was in the mid 300,000s. So initially we were going to do a 10% of that for GoFundMe, which would have been about $35,000. And so that just seemed a bit high as an initial goal. And honestly, um, whether or not it's $350,000 budget or not, I don't know yet. Obviously that'll take time as we put in the team and figure out what kind of money we can raise. And if we have investors or lots of people donating to the GoFundMe, but regardless, it could be as little as, I don't know, 200,000, as much as 700,000, uh, depending on uh, the contracts we get, the talent we get, the crew we get, the final script we shoot, uh, the scenes we keep, the scenes we add. Filmmaking is expensive. So, um, and that's low, low budget filmmaking, if you can believe that or not. Um, anyway, so, um, I took the amount of hours I volunteered for the city of Los Angeles last year and I multiplied it by 17 because that's the number I saw in a fast food restaurant looking for part-time help, $17 an hour. And I figured, well, had I just worked at a low uh, paying job for those hours that I volunteered last year, I would have made close to $20,000. So. Honestly, that's how I came to, let's make it 20,000. Let's start there. Let's start. If we can't raise 20,000, we can't raise 200. We can't raise 300. We can't raise 700. So let's start with 20. That's where we started. So that's where we're at. And as far as uh, the question, where does that $20,000 go? Well, pre-production. And pre-production is basically, hey, we're starting this movie. We have a script. We need an attorney to write contracts for possible investors. We need an attorney to write contracts for a line producer that we need to pay to do an actual projected budget. Um, and that'll have to be tiered. Like if we can get certain actors, if we can get certain crew members, you know, all these different budgets, what are crew members willing to work for? Uh, figure out who the crew is or how many crew members we need. Again, we can we can do a skeleton crew, um, which makes it very hard. Honestly, uh, our last movie we had a we had a pretty small crew, and uh, a lot of us had to do three, four, five, seven jobs. And uh, unfortunately, sometimes things get missed, and a lot of us work for free for a lot of months, a lot of months, even years. Um, which is, if it has to be that way, it has to be that way. Anyway, that's how it came up with the 20000 It basically was like $18,000, I guess, or something like that, that I, I would have made if I had worked flipping hamburgers. Um, and uh, we just have to start moving. And once we start getting donations, then that gets momentum. And hopefully we get other people that want to be involved. We have a uh, Haven suggested that she would help us with photography Another person has come on, um, has shown interest that she's interested in joining as possibly an associate producer to help. And uh, so have a couple other people. So that's that's what we're doing. It's a team thing. Um, so hopefully that answers your question. $20,000 is just an initial goal. And after that, we're going to have to raise a lot more. But that's, let's go. Let's get the twenty. Get the 20, move it forward, and then hire the line producer, hire the lawyer, hire a casting director possibly to start talking about casting ideas to figure out if maybe there's a name that can help us bring in more money or bring more awareness to this film and more audience to see the film. Anyway, I'm looking at the cutest cat walking across the parking lot right now. I'm up early to volunteer. I'll tell you more about what the volunteering is later that I'm doing. It's outside my normal, so I'm a little bit nervous, which is good. It's always good to be nervous. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you.